Hi Clive, and on the uh, football theme, of course, the very eagerly anticipated match now between Scotland and Czech Republic. About 15 degrees here, there will be a lot of cloud at Hamden. Most of the match should stay dry, you could just about squeeze out an odd spit of rain. But further southeast, again, we've got these blue skies. But further east, those temperatures peaking into the high 20s and it will start to feel more humid across England and Wales. And that heat and humidity from Wednesday night onwards through the rest of the week will expose us to the risk of some pretty big thunderstorms. That's the latest, Clive. Mm. Hello, Fiona. Well, yesterday we were united to the nation with sunshine and heat, weren't we? Today has been a bit of a divide because it's been hot in the southeast. This was Twickenham uh, this afternoon. In fact, we've seen the highest temperature recorded so far this year. Yes, we have reached just shy of 30 degrees, but it's been a real contrast up into the northwest. Yesterday, Northern Ireland had the warmest day of their year so far with 25 degrees. But look at the difference. A good uh, a few di digits down today, only 30 degrees the high, and there's been quite a lot of cloud around as well. It was the uh, hottest day of the year so far today, with temperatures hitting just under 29 degrees. I wouldn't know, I've been in here all day. Plenty of people have been out enjoying the sunshine with the fountains at King's Cross, giving a bit of welcome relief. But what have we got to come? Here's Sally with the forecast. Hello there and a very good evening to you. I hope you're keeping well after the hottest day of the year. A bit more cloud around this evening and tomorrow morning. The sun should break through though, so not looking too bad at all tomorrow and Wednesday. Then Wednesday night into Friday morning, in fact, we've got the risk of thunderstorms around. There's a little bit of uncertainty to the location, so do keep an eye on the forecast. Those of you with hay fever will know pretty clearly already we've got very high levels of grass pollen around and also some weed and nettle pollen as well. That's it for now. Have a lovely evening. Cheerio. Just very quickly, what does the announcement today mean to you? Well, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but the most important thing is that it should expire before the school holidays, because that's the time when we will expect to see a big return of visitors. This is a fantastic place for families, and the kids love it. Yeah, and they can come and see the beautiful new nanny. They certainly can. Looking out across the River Thames, of course. Thank you very much, Paddy. Um, so, yeah, it, it's not the news that anyone wanted, but... It's at least perhaps looking to the future for the summer holidays for people to come and enjoy the Cutty Sark. Riz, back to you. Thank you both. OK, let's uh, get the latest on the weather with Kate. And uh, I think, Kate, we can safely use the word Scorchio, can't we? <laughs> you can, Riz, yes. Well, today was, in fact, the hottest day of the year so far. There's been a few of those recently, but today we got up to 29.6 Celsius in Teddington. Now, what's been happening is we've had this cold front. You may have noticed a bit more cloud this afternoon as that sunk a little bit further south. But before that, plenty of sunshine to enjoy and that temperature. And when it was quite right, it is really very muggy. Now, this was earlier on, barely any cloud to speak of, but a bit more feeding in as we headed through the afternoon and it's going to continue on its journey overnight. Now it's overnight Wednesday and into Thursday morning. This low pressure system comes up from the south bringing heavy thundery downpours and the Met Office has a yellow weather warning in place for them through to Friday. Riz. Kate, thanks for that.